River, I'm sending you another package with a comic book. The story takes place six years later. It was a very hard year for me, but your company kept me sane. Maybe that's why I agreed so quickly when you were interested in hunting. But I don't regret any single day we spent together out there. I hope you're getting in touch with other landowners in the valley. Some may be overbearing, but they're all good people. Your loving grandpa, Wallace. Some summers also brought sadness. Time heals all wounds, and time goes faster if it's spent with good friends. <sighs> I am bored. Do you have a better idea what we should do? River, why does your grandfather have a door to the basement in his office? No idea. He says it's just full of boxes, but he won't open it. <gasps> Mysterious locked basement door. Why don't we try and open it? I've tried. Many times. No luck. Boredom is a natural predator of secrets. Yeah, but you didn't have us. What do you think is really down there? Maybe a hidden man cave with a pool table? Maybe my grandfather is a nerd and it's a secret D&D lair. Or his serial killer lair. Ah! <gasps> what are you doing here? Solving the mystery of the locked basement. This one will have to stay a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> Take me hunting. Never. Your father strictly forbade it. Please. Come on, please. He'll never know. But you'll have to promise me something first. You will forever take pride in being an ethical hunter. You'll never stoop to breaking the rules of ethical hunting. An ethical hunter knows and obeys the laws, understands that it is not just about what is legal, but also what is honorable and moral defines unfair advantage as when the game does not have a reasonable chance of escape, makes full use of the hunted animal, cares about and respects all wildlife, measures success not in the quantity of game taken, but by the quality of the chase, knows their limitations and stretches the stalk, not the shot, takes pride in the decisions they make in the field and takes full responsibility for their actions. Only unethical hunters say it's hard being ethical when nobody's watching. And that's how it started. Could have been worse. <laughs> How? Okay, it was pretty bad. Can you explain to me what it was all about? I need to knock some sense into Noah. By scaring him shitless? Yes. And that would help in what way? To make him understand what it feels like to be scared like that. Hurt. It's better if you see it for yourself. I'll send you the coordinates. Be careful where you step in this area. And please disable... Uh, traps and call me afterward near your lodge. The signal is weak. What traps? 